Ten sleepy young girls. Jesus went to many wedding celebrations. According to the custom of that time and region, the bride waited at home with her friends until the groom arrived to take her with him. The groom did not have an appointed time. He could come even in the middle of the night. Then someone would shout, "The groom is coming!" He would arrive with a group of very happy people. Jesus desires that all people, just like the brides, prepare themselves for the day he returns to this world as a king. He told the following story. Ten young girls went to a wedding and were waiting for the groom. Since it was already late, each one of them lit a lamp. Five of them were wise and brought extra oil to fuel their lamps. But the other five, who were foolish, did not bother to check if their containers had enough oil. Since the groom took a long time, they slept. At midnight, someone informed them that the groom was arriving. They quickly got up, fixed their dresses, and took their lamps. But they noticed that their lamps were very low, because they lacked oil. The five that had brought the extra oil filled their lamps, and the light was shining again. But the foolish ones did not have oil to put in their lamps, and asked. To borrow some from their friends, but the wise ones knew they wouldn't have enough for themselves if they shared and told them so. The foolish ones then left, running to buy the oil, but everything was closed. While they were outside, the groom arrived, and all the guests entered with him into the banquet hall. When the five foolish girls came back, the door was already closed. They claimed, "Lord, open the door for us." But the groom did not recognize them and said, "I do not know you." He didn't open the door. Jesus concluded by saying. That everyone should be ready for the coming of the king, because no one knows the hour that he will come. He wants everyone to participate in the celebration. Jesus is the groom, and we are the ones waiting for him. We need to have extra oil in our lamps. The lamps represent the word of God. The oil. Symbolizes the Holy Spirit, which can change our character. The character is something untransferable; no one can lend it to anyone else. We cannot lend our relationship with God to others, either. Each one must have their own personal experience with Jesus. When Jesus returns. Some will be ready to receive him, while others will not. In which group do you want to be?